spent about the last six weeks flying these quads and I've specifically been testing out the Beta FPV Air version 2 frames. So all of these have a Air version 2 frame on them. I swapped them out from other frames. These ones came from the V1 Beta frames. This one came from a Mobula 7 frame. And uh, it, it's been an interesting process. If you want the too long, didn't read version, they're really great frames. They're a little bit lighter. They're more nimble. They're very, they are very durable. Um, the, the cons are they definitely need a retune. They, they don't handle deturn very well. And uh, the battery trays are tight. But other than that, they're great frames. So uh, this is me six weeks later after trying all of these things out. So let me uh, go back and take you along the journey with me. I've been flying the Air 65 with the original frame. I flew about seven batteries so far with this one to get a good feel for it so I can make a good judgment estimation of what it's like. I don't think I would notice or be able to feel any kind of a difference if I was just doing freestyling. Racing is a good opportunity to really see what the difference is in the frames. So um, yeah, I'll do a little bit before and after. Alrighty, so let's take this V1 frame and make it a V2. Up like the kind that squirts out all watery first. <laughs> it feels more streamlined and more fragile. I'm excited to try it. First laps and first impressions with it now that's got the V2 frame. Um, it's kind of a throw up of colors. I don't like it. <laughs> this is first pack with the new frame. It doesn't sound as good. Hmm. I do think I'd notice a difference. I can't tell if it's good or bad. Yeah, um, I guess if I could summarize how it feels differently. It feels more nimble. Like, I don't feel like it's any faster, but it feels like it's more maneuverable, more nimble. Yeah. What is making the noise is the question. Yeah, it feels more nimble, like it's more responsive. I feel like I'm touching the gimbal st sticks just a little bit less. Light around my fingers, kind of. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I mean, it definitely feels a little bit different. It feels a little bit like it's more nimble. Like I can kind of, I'm not touching the sticks quite as much. It feels like it's just a little faster to respond maybe um and I don't, i'm not really sure what the noisy element of it is and i'm gonna double check everything's tight and nothing's bent again up close oh yeah let's do some freestyle of course i mean it definitely feels more nimble like it's a little bit quicker to respond, but also some, it like, I think I miss, but I feel like I miss the extra weight carrying through corners and stuff. Like I'm not as, it's more kind of like twitchy, um, but I got more battery life. And it definitely, it definitely does feel different. I don't know if I necessarily like it or not yet. It took a whole bunch of crashes just fine. I don't see any reason why this would be 
more fragile or break more. This thing's way, weigh, weighs hardly nothing, so it's not like we're causing much damage when we wipe out. So, yeah, I don't know. I got seven more batteries. I'm gonna keep flying on it. Let's see if I notice any different. That's definitely not gonna like be the game changer and all of a sudden make you a fast pilot. <laughs> um, but if you're swapping frames anyways, I don't know why you would ever do the version one frame as opposed to that. So yeah, it's a nice frame. And I'm 17 packs into this new V2 frame. And it's, it's very noticeably different now that I've flown it that much. Um, to the point where it's, I'm struggling with it. It's, it's too nimble and it's too zippy. Um, so I think I need to up my camera angle to compensate for it. Because I'm like not pitched forward enough through turns where I'm carrying really wide because I'm moving faster. Which is probably a good problem to have. I just gotta... I just gotta figure out how to get my camera angle down. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight batteries so far in this quad with the Air 65 V1 frame. So one more, ninth battery, and then I'm going to switch it to a V2 frame. Swap this one to the V2 frame. V2 frame. It's a purple one too. It's hard to tell the difference, but here's the old frame. I can never keep my model straight and which drones are which, so I write what model and the radio they are on the frame. So I need to transfer that <laughs> over. But yeah, uh, swapped it out. Everything's the same. Kept the exact same props everything so we'll see how it flies <gasps> oh my gosh it's so amazing it's so much better just kidding um actually i can tell the difference right away it feels super s solid like yeah it's definitely different. Now, again, this this one also sounds way worse. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before I smashed into something. Dog hair. Gotta be careful with the dog hair. <laughs> That's definitely more flight time. It's definitely more flight time. I actually do feel a difference. Like it, it is noticeably different on this build. I noticed it way more on this compared to the Air 65 swap. This one just seems to be more noticeable. I feel it better, I feel it more. Um, and it's, it's definitely a good feeling. It feels like it's more solid in the air, but also more nimble and more maneuverable, quicker to respond kind of vibes. So yeah, I like it. It's a good frame. <laughs> Ooh. I'm gonna fly this guy here. This is a Waxnell build. I've swapped this to the Beta FPV Air 75 version 2 frame. So far, the 65 mil swaps I've done on this frame have been pretty, they're great. They're obviously lighter. They're obviously more nimble. 
They're very durable frames, but they need to be retuned. And there's something about the V2 frames that are very, I think they're more rigid and it's making some vibrations that are freaking the tunes out, which in some senses is okay. Like you can bring, you have to bring the tune way back and bring all the numbers down, but then it flies just as good with a lower tune because I guess it has more thrust and it's lighter or something. I, um, it works, it works fine, but you have to retune them. Um, and even like the stock, the Air 65 tune that comes on it, the stock tune doesn't work. If you take the Air 65 with the V1 frame and just stick it in the V2 frame, it flies away. So you have to retune it. So yeah, I'm curious to see if it's the same on the V2 with the 75 mil. Okay, let me show you the tune quick. Uh, this is on the 65 mil, and this is where I had the tune before I swapped frames. And then after swapping frames, I took the really high master multiplier brought it all the way down, and then I pushed up my P and I, or P and F term. So this part gave me the feel that I needed, but then this part brought down the D term, the real high D term value, and basically the same for the 75. I just brought the master way down and then pushed the, the P up just a hair. I, I don't think I messed with the filters at all, and maybe that would fix it sooner. I don't really know, and I didn't really care or spend too much time tuning it, so uh, you should probably look up someone else's video on tuning the V2 frame. <laughs> I'm sure someone has done a way better job than I did. I will say this, if you have a battery that's clean and like perfect, it will fit in. It fits in the slot very hard. It's very, very hard to get in there. <laughs> That's what she said. I mean, that's... I'm pushing as hard as I can. <laughs> I can't get it past that point. I pushed it as hard as I can. And this is with a perfect battery. Oh my gosh! Ah, this is with a perfect battery. Like, no, I haven't used this one. It is completely flat. That's a 550. Here's a 450. That's brand new. 450, brand new. Gosh, see the paper catches on there and I can't, I can't get it in. It just, it doesn't fit. Frick. All right. <laughs> so you're not fitting anything in this unless it's a pristine battery with no rips or folds or anything. It's good to have a tight battery slot so it doesn't slip around, but man, you gotta be able to fit a battery in there that's been used before. Is it worth it? I guess that's the question. I would say yes. If you're swapping frames already, absolutely. The V2 frame from Beta FPV is probably one of the best options you can get for 65 and 75 mil. Um, it definitely beats these out in most ways. If you have working frames already, I don't think it's necessarily worth ripping these ones out and putting V2 frames in. The differences are pretty small, but if you're swapping frames anyways, yeah, go for it. It's, uh, it's worth it. And they're great frames, very durable, lightweight, more nimble, all around just solid.